Hey guys, uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to talk about Python set. So we are going to start with how to create a set and then uh, the different ways we can create sets. So for example, we can use, uh, uh, we can create set using the set constructor and we can uh, create set using frozen set constructor. So the difference between these two uh, constructors is that when we create set using the set constructor, uh, that set is mutable. Uh, and by mutable, I mean that uh, we can add elements or remove elements uh, uh, from the instance of this constructor. But uh, while but uh, in in frozen set we cannot do that uh, once we create that uh, once we create a set using a frozen set constructor uh, that that instance uh, is immutable uh, we cannot make any sort of changes uh, for for that set all right and then we are going to talk about how set is under uh, unordered uh, or un unchangeable unchangeable being that we what we just talked about uh, we can add uh, or remove that in, in when we create using set constructor uh, yeah and then uh, we are gonna end with uh, uh, working with uh, sets and uh, you know how we have a bunch of different methods and operators uh, or how to use sets in Python and um, how to use how to interact with different sets uh, how to uh, you know, uh, get the union of sets or uh, intersection of sets. Uh, so these are some of the topics that maybe uh, not all of us are familiar with. Uh, so we are going to go through them uh, just now. So I have here a, a I have here a, a chart that I uh, downloaded from internet. So uh, this Q math organization, I guess they created it. So the credit goes to them. And uh, so here in this Venn diagram, we have two sets. Uh, one is set A, which consists of uh, three elements, uh, one, two, and three. And then we have set B, which consists of uh, uh, three elements, uh, three, five, and seven. And uh, the common elements uh, between these two sets uh, is uh, three. So um, when, uh, so when we take the intersection in, in mathematical in mathematical terms, uh, those of you who are not familiar with sets, uh, whenever we say we want to take the intersection of two sets, uh, we meant to say that we want to take the common elements between two sets. And uh, when we say we want to take the uh, union of two sets, uh, which means we want to take all the elements uh, uh, between uh, Two sets. So the union union of uh, of set A and B here would be one, two, three, five, seven, and the intersection of these two sets would be only three. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's uh, let's see how we can work uh, with this idea uh, in terms of uh, Python coding. Um, okay. So I have these two sets here. Let's just get. Uh, so I have set A and set B. And I am creating these sets using this curly brackets. And remember, we can uh, we we use curly brackets also to create dictionaries. But uh, for dictionaries, we sort of uh, use key value pair, and uh, which is separated by colon. So uh, this this is a dictionary, right? Uh, and if I do t if I check what the data type is. Uh, this should return dict, so which is a dictionary. But so the difference here is that uh, in terms of uh, in terms of sets, we don't we don't use this colon in between, which which tells Python that this is not a dictionary and uh, it's actually a set itself. Okay, uh, so. Uh, now, uh, using these two sets, uh, I'm going to go through some of these elements I have uh, listed here. Uh, okay, uh, so, all right, so the first, uh, and also, uh, also maybe I should mention that uh, we can also use, uh, create set using set and frozen set. So, 
one example of that should be uh, you know c equals set uh, and then uh, two and three so that is a set uh, as well and uh, if i do uh, type that should return set and then we have also frozen set um, which let's say d and if i do 10 and 11 that should return i think it's just going to return set oh, okay so it, re it does return frozen set which is good so i have these four sets here um, and now we're going to just use them uh, you're going to use these four sets to describe some of the methods, uh, some of the built-in methods we have in Python. So the first one, uh, the first one would be an operator or, or method mostly. So it's the len, which we are all familiar with. Uh, so len basically returns uh, how many elements we have within a set, and that is it's similar for uh, list, it's similar for tuple, and uh, also dictionary, right? And um, after len, um, let's say we wanna take a look at um, in operator, right? So that's an operator that helps us to uh, figure out whether certain item exists in a, in a collections, uh, collections being uh, whether it's a list or a dictionary or tuple or set. So let's say if I were to check if one exists in uh, in the set A. So I would do uh, A one in A, and that should return true uh, because uh, the element A element one exists in the set A. Uh, let's say I were to check if ten exists in A. That should return false, as it says, uh, because ten doesn't exist in a okay um and we can also say you know 10 not in a and that should return true because 10 is actually not in a as we can see here and then um uh, so these are these are more like operators uh it's not it doesn't have anything to do uh with uh, specifically with uh set so uh now let's let's get into the meat here so let's say i have uh, uh let's say there is a question uh, i want to see if uh if if um you know if two sets are disjoint so disjoint is when uh, none of the elements of set a is uh, uh none is is common with any elements in set b so for example, for this case, uh, there is a common element here, right? The common element is three. Uh, so if I forward to do if A uh, is disjoint B, that should return false. And as it did, uh, so it's basically uh, checking if, if there are any common elements between these two uh, sets. Uh, if if the elements are if if there is a common element, then uh, it should uh, return false. If there isn't, it should return true. So uh, we can also check with a and uh, d because not, none of the sets have any common elements. So if I were to do a uh, is disjoint d, that should return true because that none of them, none of the sets have common elements. All right, so the second element is the subset. So what is a subset? So a subset is when uh, uh, every element of a set exists uh, in a different set. So if, let's say, so for example, C here have elements two and three, and uh, all these elements exist in set A here. Uh, so therefore, we would say C is a subset of set A, or, or A is a superset of set C. And uh, this is uh, uh, these are mathematical terms, and uh, we uh, we can check that here using uh, is uh, subset. So 
so now I'm checking if A is a subset of C, which is false, right? Because it's the opposite. A is the superset of uh, set C because A has all the elements, uh, but C has uh, these two elements that's in A, right? So A is a superset of set C. Uh, and if I do subset here, it should return false. Uh, but if I do a is superset, uh, that should return true. Okay. Uh, similarly, um, if I do C is subset of set A, that should return true and uh, vice versa. So the, I, I guess you get the idea. Uh, and then uh, this can also be represented uh, using the greater than and less than sign. So um, since C is a subset, we would have C here and then less than or equal to A. We would say something like that, which which is true here. Um, so which uh, basically other way of saying if every element of C exists in set A, uh, or if C is a subset of set A. Now, if I uh, there is another way to check. Uh, if, if C is a proper set of set A. So when we say proper set, uh, proper set is basically, um, I think before we, before we uh, you know, go into proper set, we should, uh, you know, uh, uh, do some more comparison here. So for example, if I have a, if I have this set A, right? And I wanna, let's say uh, I have a set E, which is A dot, which is the copy of set A. So E here is one to three and A is also one to three. And now if I do, if, if I wanna check if E is a subset of set A, that will also return true. Why? Because all of the element of E exist in uh, A. But E is not a proper set of set A, why? Because uh, in order for any set to be a proper set, it would have to have uh, less element than the other set, or it would have to have, uh, yeah, it would, uh, so in order for E to be a proper set of A, E would have to have less elements uh, than A, but uh, all the elements of E must exist in set A. So uh, in that case, uh, if I were to, you know, look at C here, uh, C has two and three. So C is a proper subset of set A, which is why it's returning true. Okay. Uh, I know this this might get uh, complicated. Uh, so, but uh, just go through the the codes that I have uh, uh, I have been writing, and then uh, or, or listen to it one more time and this should uh, make sense. Okay, uh, so we talked about subset, we talked about superset, uh, and then uh, let's talk about union. So what is union? But before before talking about union, let's just uh, come here, print all four sets uh, we have so far. So we have A, we have B, we have C, we have D, we have E. So these are the five subsets we have so far. Um, now, uh, let's say if I want to take the union of two sets, that would be, let's say if I want to take the union of A and B, uh, I would do something like this, A dot uh, and a union B, that should return uh, the union of these two sets. I can also do it using this, uh, this operator. And that also, this, um, operator is similar as union sign. And uh, let's see if I want to do uh, intersection, I would do a dot uh, intersection B. Uh, so intersection returns only the common elements between two uh, sets. So in this case, it's going to return three. And another way of checking this is using this and operator. And that also returns three. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, so uh, I, I think uh, there are some, so okay, oh, so there's one more thing. Uh, we can also see 
uh, we and we talked about this in the beginning. Uh, let's see if we want to see the difference uh, from set difference of set A from set B. So the difference of uh, set A from B would be one and two. Why? Because we wanna find out every elements that are not in B. Simply, simply, um, yeah. So, uh, so all the elements that are in A and not in B is one and two. And this three also exists in B, right? So this three wouldn't be counted. That's why. So in in that in that case, we are just gonna say uh, the difference between A and B would be one and two. And that's basically what we are gonna find here. So if I do a dot uh, difference b, uh, it should get us uh, one and two. And if I do b dot difference, that should get us five and seven, uh, like the, like the diagram suggests. Okay, so these are uh, some of the methods uh, we have for a uh, set constructor. Uh, set and frozen set constructor uh, but now uh, we are going to talk about some of th these methods that only yeah, only exist in set constructor not in frozen set constructor so for example one of these sets would be uh you know uh, let's say uh, a dot update b so what this is gonna do is that uh let me let me print a again and B here so what this is gonna do is that it's gonna uh, take into consideration of anything that exists in a and in B so it's it's similar to uh, union per se but uh, instead of uh, you know returning uh, like that instead of returning a union B and uh, keeping the uh, keeping the value of a and B uh, same it's gonna update uh, the set a uh, and include everything that's in set B so when I do that it's it, it's not returning anything but when I print a you could see that um, now we have everything that's in a and B and um, I'm just gonna go back and you know assign a as one to three and b as three five seven and then and then uh okay so similar to this we can also say uh, we can also say we can also use these symbols and then we can say as equals to b and that should return the same result which so this this code in line in cell 108 is exactly similar to cell 107 okay so if I do that and then if I print a as you can see I get the same result okay um, all right going back and just uh, having assigning it back to how it was and then if I do intersection update uh, so what this is gonna do I'm actually gonna just show you guys so it's just gonna update um, it's gonna update set a and then assign set a to three instead of uh, one to three okay and and uh, similar approach for this would also be uh, the end sign and then equals and then B so if I assign the sets back to how it was Actually, I'm just gonna copy this cell, and I'm gonna put it here. So now uh, a is one to three, and then b is three five seven, and when I do a ends uh, equal to b, it's gonna update the set a, and then it's gonna assign uh, set a to the intersection of these two sets. Uh, so it's it's a couple of step in one in one line here all right so if i look at a here it's gonna we could see that it's just three okay uh all right so uh one other uh thing that i wanted to uh 
uh, talk about is this. Uh, let's say we we wanna we wanna return any uh, all the elements that's not common between two sets. So uh, if I look at the diagram here, uh, what are the elements that's not common between two sets? So it's uh, one, two, and five, seven, right? Because the common elements between two sets is three. So uh, so uh, the uncommon elements between two sets are one, two, and five, seven. And how do we return this? The way we uh, return it is by, let's say if we do A and then we do the caret sign and B. So this is gonna return everything that's not common between two sets. So one, two, and five, seven. And um, this three from A and three from B gets ignored. And uh, there is another way to write this. So if I do uh, symmetric, symmetric difference, right? Yeah, so that's the one. And that returns the same thing. Okay, um, all right, cool. So now uh, we talked about uh, intersection update. We talked about union update. Um, we talked about symmetric uh, difference. Uh, yeah, and then uh, and then let's talk about uh, some of the more uh, important ones, right? So we have, uh, let's say we have A and then we want to add certain elements to set A. Uh, we see A first, let's just print A. So A is one to three, and then we want to add certain element, right? Let's say we want to add 10. So we do like that. So they, these elements, uh, these these method, this method is can only be used with it with an instance that uh, that was constructed by using set constructor. Because uh, if we look at this guy, this D set, it's a frozen set. And let's say if we wanna add something here, let's say we wanna add this number, it's gonna give us an error because a uh, frozen set object has no attribute add. So frozen set is immutable like we talked about and uh, the immutable object doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, can't really add any elements, okay? And uh, let's see if I, so, so now we have our set A is one, two, three and 10. Let's say I wanna remove 10. So A dot remove 10. So it's that simple just to remove the set. Uh, and then uh, let's say uh, I wanna, uh, so one other thing with remove is that if if there is an item, uh, let's say I wanna, uh, you know, let's say, let's say I, have, I, have, I have an item that's not exist here within the set, but I, I sort of run this method anyway. Um, in that case, that's gonna give us an error, right? Because we are, we're trying to get rid of certain element which doesn't really exist, and and um, this this error uh, can be prevented using a different method called discard. So when we use discard, it basically runs the code, but it doesn't doesn't give us the error here. So as you can see, it, it ran even though uh, this code is, isn't doing anything, and if we return it, uh, we, we could see that. We have the same old three vari three elements. All right. So now um, we have another method is pop. So pop. What pop does is that it it uh, removes and returns an arbit arbitrary element uh, from the set. So it doesn't have to be. It could be any value, uh, and it removes and then. Uh, and returns it. So, so now if I if I look at A here, we should see only two and three because one was removed. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much what I have for set. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, you know bring in if uh, there is anything else that I'm missing, but I think uh, we have covered pretty much everything uh, in terms of set uh, in Python. All right, so. Thank you guys for listening and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.